Hi folks, I uh, hope everybody's okay. I just want to share with you, uh, just for a minute, concerning Puritan and Reformed theology. I've been really blessed over the last 25 years to have come in contact with Reformed theology. The theology of the Westminster Confession of Faith and the Great Puritans Over the years, I've been influenced by a great preacher called Dr. Martin Lloyd-Jones. You can't really understand me as a person unless you understand the great doctor. Dr. Lloyd-Jones was a, 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 an expository preacher of the Word of God. And he was a man who loved the Word and loved sound teaching. And it was in those years, about 25 years ago, that I came across Lloyd-Jones and then I came into an understanding of the Reformed faith. I went to seminary uh, in Didsbury in Manchester and did a degree in theology. And while I was there, I, I, I came into contact with a lot of liberal ideas. And we were challenged on many fronts to, to rethink the Christian faith. But it was my Reformed theology roots, the people like B.B. Warfield and Charles Hodge, <coughs> and Gresham Machen, Cornelius Van Til, that give me the intellectual strength to, to withstand the assault upon the Bible by this liberal theological seminary that claimed to be evangelical. Since then, I have found it difficult in the Calvinistic community because it seems to be in a reformed castle hiding away from the world and not really engaged with the world and a little bit middle classy but I've never really moved away fully from the reformed faith and recently the last two or three months, I've come back fully to my Calvinistic roots and in fact embraced Calvinism more than I've ever done before because I see it scriptural. I see the tenets of Calvinism in the Bible. And the more and more I'm studying my Bible, the more and more I'm reading, the more I realize that Calvinistic theology and teaching is biblical and I just want to say that I've been reading William Gurnall's Christian Incomplete Armour again um, I'm pulling out uh, Puritan books and, and literature I'm rereading the Confession I'm rereading uh, R.L. Dabner's Systematic Theology and I just want to say that I'm finding the Reformed Faith and the Puritans a tremendous encouragement to me, a tremendous blessing to me, a tremendous strength to my faith. So I, I've recently downloaded um, the complete works of John Owen, the complete works of Thomas Manton, the three volumes of The Lives of the Puritans by Brooke, the Abignon's uh, the history of the Reformation, which is about six volumes, and I'm working through them, and I'm also working through uh, Brackle's uh, Reasonable Service, which is a Dutch reform guy. And in my apologetics, I, I'm constantly going back to Greg Manson, and I'm going to go back more to reading Van Til when I get more time. So I just wanted to share these things with you. I'm not against Arminians in terms of that my brothers and sisters in Christ or even Arminian or, or even Charismatics. I've been so blessed by being in a Charismatic church for a year. And, and so I have been blessed. But I do think that the Reformed faith has the experimental Holy Spirit side to it, but it, it's grounded in doctrine. And I think that's what the charismatic movement needs. It needs to be grounded in good doctrine. 
if it's going to have an experience of the Holy Spirit, it has to be biblical. So those are just a few thoughts of where I'm at theologically. I don't attack anybody else so long as they maintain the basics of the faith. When we do evangelism uh, in Manchester, we have people from all different spectrums of evangelical theology from those who are into Israel, those who are charismatic, uh, those who are Arminian, and it doesn't bother me so long as we're all focusing on proclaiming Christ. We can have fellowship together. But I just want to share my roots of where I'm at theologically. I'm being so blessed at the moment, so, so blessed by reading the Puritans and reform theology and i hope that you would do the same so if you go to my website jasonburnspreacher.com you'll find material there on a whole host of reformed and puritan preachers and i uh, hope it blesses you don't forget my website's jasonburnspreacher.com and thank you for listening and god bless you <laughs>